Hi everybody and welcome back to my basement once again. Today I'm gonna talk about something that a lot of people requested down in the comments and actually I never really thought about making a video out of it but you have your DJI goggles, you fly digital, you have fun but sometimes you have small drones that need analog. So what's the best way to fly analog on your DJI goggles? Today I'm gonna show you this thing which is my personal best way to do that. And please show me some love, drop a sub, like, comment on this video, help me grow this channel. Thank you so much. Let's go. And today I also have this top-down camera so I can show you stuff much better while I talk. And let's take a look at my DJI goggles right here. As you can see, I have the front patches and stubbies from Lumineer. And actually, I love them. They look sick, as you can see. And also, they work amazing. Plenty of range. And it's the best solution if you don't want to remove your antennas when you put this in your backpack. This, you take it out and it's ready to go, which is the best thing in my opinion. You save a lot of time and the regular antennas are this long and it's not really the best. But to use an analog receiver, there are two kinds that go with these goggles. Basically, there is this kind that goes on the side and then there is another kind that basically you need to remove the whole front plate and use the analog receiver there and here is not possible of course so this is our only choice and this product right here is the Uruav analog adapter and actually I think it's the best solution for your goggles because it's the most low-key when you don't use it actually I don't have the original packaging but basically it comes with this plug right here you can put on your goggles it comes with two longer screws so you can put it there it's not ugly it's not bad and you don't even notice but when you want to use your analog you have a sled right here at the back a rail boom you pop it in and it's ready to go of course the Uruav analog adapter doesn't come with module so you need your own analog module if you have one you can stick your own one into it otherwise I don't know I bought this Ishin Pro 58 is one cheap module but it works very very nice so I suggest that if you don't have anything else it works very good and you just plug it in you see there are the pins there you just plug it in and boom it's ready to go of course maybe you need a cover you can 3d print one and it's gonna be much better also be sure to use a receiver with a with a wheel on it so you can uh, program it and stuff like that but when you don't use it you remove it when you use it you put it back super super easy up top you have your input so you put your power in, as you can see, boom. Turn on the battery. And you can see it turning on R1, as you can see, channel, you can change channel with the... Okay, this is the Ishin Pro 58. So to power your goggles, you take the plug that exits. Also, you have a, a voltage reader at the bottom right here. You just plug in your goggles. And here you have the AV out that you need to plug on the port right here and you are set. And you need to go into your Google settings and select AV in as you can see. And that's done. You select it and you go into analog. Boom. And this is our analog receiver as you can see. And this Uruav receiver is the best one in my opinion because it's inconspicuous when you don't know it's there. It fits in very easily as you can see. Works amazing. Sturdy, made of metal and it works good it has just a couple of downside in my opinions when you get this uh, this is the new version it has the uh, voltage reader here but you're gonna find metal going here so you need a file and you need to cut it down which is not the best consumer experience but really it's easy you can just snap it off it's aluminum so you need a good tool to for do that but it's not a problem Another downside is you can hear it beeping and that's because the DJI battery is two cells and this thing draws quite a bit of power and the battery sucks basically. But here there is a button so you can go 8-0 and it never beeps. But actually it doesn't seem to remember this setting after one month of no use it forgets it and you need to set it up again so it's kind of a pain in the butt but nice you can remove the beeping because it drives you mad <laughs> another common question is how much latency do you get on these goggles flying analog and actually i don't have the instruments to test it it feels very good to me but i found the real number because a two-year-old video from artsishim he tested it thoroughly with instruments and he found out is 20 milliseconds, around 20 milliseconds, which is not bad. Regular goggles, analog only, are about 10, 
15 milliseconds, this is 20, 25 probably, which is great. You can fly, if you're a racer, maybe it's not the best, but for the everyday flyer, it's a good experience. And also you have a big screen, it feels very nice. So, let's go outside, I'm gonna do a flight around, and I'm gonna show you my DVR, because also you can record your, um, your video, and it's a very, very nice package. And it's the best of both worlds, really, in my opinion, because you can go around and fly digital, and when you need it, you can fly also your analog drones just, boom, by snapping one little thing on the side. Let's go. The little drone is on, let's fly. Super small drone. Oh my god. And as always, I start doing <laughs> reviews a bit too late, and yeah. It's not the best time to fly, of course, analog especially, it's dusk. What is that noise? But, as you can see, it works very good. Actually, I mean, the analog module doesn't do much. It's the receiver you put in and the transmitter you are using, basically. So, we are using right now the Pro... I saw it. Ha! There is a dog on the other side. So, we are using a Ishin Pro 58 and a 200 milliwatt receiver on, uh, on this small drone. And the dog is chasing me. But actually, I don't trust going in the middle of these trees with analog, really. Okay, here it, there is. Uh, it's open. I don't want to get my drone hit my, by dog. I just want to drop there a fly so you can see how good it is. The best thing about it, and I remember flying regular goggles analog. I had not very, very good one. It was the Ishin v 200 ds but they were not super bad as well. The screen were, were very, very little. With these DJI goggles, you have a, such a big screen, you see everything, it's nice. Um, much better experience, really. <laughs> In my opinion, at least. Of course, there were fast shark, much more expensive goggles, they had bigger screen, but I guess this is much bigger than those as well. Super clear, comfy, maybe the goggles are a little bit bigger, but... I ended up liking them eventually. Let's land. And that's all for this review of the Eurov analog adapter. Really, I cannot not recommend it. Super cheap, less than 20 bucks. It's inconspicuous, very small. You put it into your backpack and it's a very, very nice addition for your digital goggles. And of course, you will need the receiver for it, which is this one right here. And if you already have analog goggles, you probably have a receiver around, so you can just use that. If you don't, this is my suggestion, the Ishin Pro 58, works very good stock, again, around 20 bucks. And if you want to install other software like Pirx or Achilles, it works super, super good and it's there with the top receivers like Rapid Fire, and it's much, much, much cheaper. You just have to tinker a bit with it. But it's a nice combo if you don't want to spend much and have an analog goggle option for your digital goggles. And as always, thank you for watching. Remember to like, subscribe and comment on this video. Again, go in the description, you will find links to buy this stuff, so you find it on Banggood. And as always, thank you for watching, stay safe and happy flying. Bye!